I've seen tricolor ropes. I've seen tricolor Cubans. I've seen tricolor heavy links. But now I have the opportunity, thanks to Gold Zen, to see a tricolor Milano chain. Let's see how that intricate little twisty pattern looks in a tricolor status. Let's roll my motherfucking music so we can take a look at Gold Zen's tricolor Milano chain. I'm kind of a big deal. Good morning, my beautiful peoples. You know who it is. This is your boy. C to the U to the B to the A. Shout out to Gozen for sponsoring today's video and sending me a tricolor Milano chain. The Milano chain, aka the Figaro, which is a hybrid of a Figaro and a rope chain. I was able to see this chain firsthand about maybe a year ago or so. And I saw it and I was like, damn, this shit is just all cuts. It takes the two best portions of two very popular chains puts them together with additional cuts and just makes it a shiny piece around your neck. I mean, when we're looking for gold pieces of jewelry, whether it be white gold, yellow gold, or rose gold, tricolor, you're looking for the shine factor. Jewelry is all about self-expression and wealth and symbolism, but it also brings attention to one thing, that shine factor, that eye-grabbing attention that nowadays gets you robbed. But when you take two elements of very popular chains and just add cuts everywhere and now you start to balance that shine factor with different tones within one link the complexity and artistic beauty that comes in that is quite intriguing so without further ado i have a 14 carat 35 gram 22 inch 4.5 millimeter tricolor figure rope aka milano chain look at the beauty and the tones in this necklace but I want you guys to focus on something when I give you these up-close shots. One of the interesting things that I find about this particular one, which is quite interesting, is that the tones seem to work harmoniously together as opposed to some other tricolors that I've seen. Obviously, it all depends on the alloy mixes and the way their manufacturer processes their gold tones. But as you can see here, the rose and the yellow aren't so sharp and abrasive when it comes to the color. It kind of works really beautifully and harmoniously with that white gold. It doesn't mean like the yellow is super, super bright yellow and then it flushes into something like a muted white and then you get into like a pinkish, super bright red. It's actually like a very muted, subtle red blended nicely in with the white, blended nicely in with the yellow. Like the yellow is an overly Italianly dipped yellow that makes it really, really stand out as opposed to the other two tones. And that rose is an overly pink or overly spotted red that it throws off any essence of any white being listed. The synergy in tones that this chain has is actually very beautiful and it works very cohesively. Clearly you see all the cuts between the three different tones, giving it that OD light refraction because you can see the light bouncing off my studio lights effortlessly off this chain. Now this chain does come in a standard lobster clasp as most of these do and it's a very simple beautiful chain that just promotes two classic designs with three color palettes that are very well balanced. Now preference for me would be this living in a 24 inch space. This is a 22 inch space which a lot of people find that 22 is their perfect length and I've rocked 22 for quite a while and always seem to end up going back to 24. I ended up at period going to 26 and always go back to 24. So I'm going through this jewelry journey, figuring out what my likes and dislikes are and sharing them with you. My style changes all the time. My preferences change all the time based that I have the accessibility to try on all these different pieces and really learn what my individual style is. Not everybody has that opportunity, right? But I'm humble enough to share my experiences with you guys and if our tastes align, maybe you can feel this works best for me or this works fly for Cuba but it won't look dope on me. Kind of that perspective so it just gives you something to really think about. For me, this is just a casual chain. From a distance, you're not going to see that tricolor blend. As I previously stated, it flows very effortlessly, so only someone up close and personal that gets to see it outside the chain or with an open shirt type will be able to see the different tones and maybe pick that up. But from a distance, as you can see, it really doesn't pop that crazy. All you get is just massive amounts of shine because the chain is just flooded in cuts. Now there's nothing else left to do but hit you with the...
See, right now it's hoodie season. I'm wearing my throwaway hoodie that I wear around the crib just to chill and lounge and shit. And you can see the 22 doesn't provide me with as much neck profile that I really want outside of the hoodie. That's why I need an extra two inches pause to wear outside of the hoodie so that shit can wear fly. This can easily take a pendant, but I think individually it just has more of a character and that shine factor that you're particularly looking for. I'll put a link in the description to Gold Zen. Shout out again to Gold Zen for sponsoring today's video. And there are promo codes on the website, so continuously check out because they're always changing their inventory and you may find something that you're looking for at a decent deal. I love y'all motherfuckers from the heart and I'll see y'all bitches next time. Let me know what you think of the Milano AKA Figaro in tricolor and I'll see y'all bitches next time. You know, it is biggest in the game. Smooches. For the fly gun holder, money folder, roller roller, star tag when it's time to call back. For the rough rugged and raw way, this nigga Jay, it's a game, but he don't play. For all the chicks that got dead in the penthouse suite on top of my mom's crib. It's long since you never get in. It's long since you would think that you.